Hi, I'm Adrian, a cybersecurity SE with Full Proxy here in the UK, and I'll show you a quick demo of one of the really cool features of FI's advanced WAF called DataSafe. As users, we all seek comfort when connecting to hosted applications in that we look for the TLS padlock that suggests any data we send is completely safe and encrypted. However, the data is actually only protected when in transit, not on your PC itself when you're actually entering your username and password. To illustrate the security risk here, I'm using this popular website with fictional credentials of test.user and test password. What you can see here at the, the bottom is the developer tools features of, uh, of Firefox, which you, you access by pressing F12, but every browser has something pretty similar. The console allows me to extract any data entered within the, the underlying browser, perhaps most importantly in this example, my password, which here you can see at the bottom. So let's now see how we can mitigate the risk using the F5 WAF data save feature. This is the hosted application I'm going to protect and using the same technique as before you can see how easy it is for me to extract my, uh, my password. So let me just go through the same steps as before so I can show you the password. As you can see I'm now using the rather super secure password option of password itself. Shame on me as a security professional. This is the F5 WAF GUI. I'm just going to enable the anti-fraud profile which will encrypt and obfuscate the password field. There you go. So back to the hosted application itself where I'm just going to refresh the web page and re-enter the username and uh, and password here. Um, let me correct that, the correct password. Um, and you know, before I hit enter, just to show you that um, the, the password um, no longer um, comes up, it's actually obfuscated with a series of A's, but I just want to log on now and just show you that I can actually successfully log on to the application, the website, and, and access everything. So that's that's the end of part one. I'm going to come back with my colleague Donald in part two to show you how to configure the anti-fraud profile itself. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, or comment. And if you need any more details, then please contact us directly at the email address below, which is info at fullproxy.com.